looking live at Kearney High School. That field will soon have a varsity game. Right now, the Jade, or the, yeah, about 51 minutes. Undefeated Kearney will be hosting undefeated San Diego in what is a historic a battle of unbeatens, and we'll have all those highlights for you tonight on the All Sports Board. Coach, tell me one thing about San Diego High I don't know. Only county national champions in football, 1916 and 1955. National champs. No playoff, though. I mean, no, they just they just said they were national champs. Okay. Number one. Good enough for me, uh, and that's also good enough for like Mr. South Bay. John Sutterman joins us from the National City Mile of Cars Game of the Week. Take it away, bro. Thanks, Paul. We have Mar Vista hosting Southwest, and this is a South Bay rivalry that goes back to 1979. It's called the Battle for the Bell, and I've got the Mar Vista cheerleaders helping us out here. Elijah hoisting the bell here. goes back to 1979. Now, as far as the, the history of this, we turn to the uh, uh, father of head coach Tyler Arciaga, R.C. Arciaga. Uh, he's our resident historian. Coach, take it away. Coach, you are holding in your hand the bell that represents the the rivalry between Southwest and Mar Vista. Give us a little history lesson. When did it start and how did it start? It started in 1979. Coach Nikoloff was a head coach here at Mar Vista and I was a head coach at Southwest my first year. And we talked on the phone, decided, hey, since these two schools are big rivals, let's decide to play for something. So funny as it may seem, I said, let's get a victory bell. And I found this on Revolucion down on Tijuana. And uh, I bought it and uh, it's been the the symbol of this rivalry all these years since 1979. Uh, you know, so Mar Vista had it for a long time. Southwest had it for many years. It's kind of been going back and forth. And at times, late, lately, has been lopsided victories. But there are times when it has been really close, close right. games, and it came down to seconds. So that's what it's become. Are the kids aware of the history of the bell? Oh, yeah. We, we, we tell them they know about it. When they hear first year about it, you know, they just laugh that I bought it down in Tijuana. But it's, uh, it's a meaningful trophy, and uh, it, it's great to play for. And perhaps in spite, of, in spite of everybody's records, they all play hard. And I'll tell you, uh, Paul, Coach Arciaga is an amazing man. He fought in Vietnam as a United States Marine. He recently almost made it to the top of Mount Everest, made it to almost 4,000 feet to go, and he got hypoxia. He's climbed Kilimanjaro. He and his reef, uh, wife recently climbed Mount Blanc. So amazing man overall. Throw it back to you.